Hello everyone, myself Diksha Shanjal from Biotechnica and today we shall be discussing about some important topics and reference books that are important for the unit 7 of CSI and its syllabus. So today we shall be discussing about the important topics concerned with the CSI and net unit 7 and we shall be discussing about the important books also that you can refer for those important units. So for important topics, so here uh, unit 7 is um, system physiology animal and here we shall be discussing about the important topics related to each one of them. So the subcategorization is such that the important topics from unit 7, the first division is the basis of the uh, type of or like the system, the type of the organ system. The first one is blood and circulation, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, nervous system, sense organs, excretory system, thermoregulation and stress and, uh, stress and adaptation, digestive system, endocrinology and uh, reproduction. And then at last, we shall be referring some important books. So let's get started with the video where firstly we shall be discussing about blood and uh, circulation. So blood and circulation is the first uh, subtopic of the system physiology animal unit 7 of the CSI net syllabus and here some of the important topics that are usually asked in the CSI net examinations are about blood volume, questions related to RBC, the conditions where there would be an hypertrophy in the case of RBC like in the case of high altitude, the questions related to WBC, the fighting mechanism, questions related to the constituent of the blood, the proteins associated, what is serum, what is plasma, question related to the deficiency, deficiency what are the deficiency that happens uh, like and that relates to any like anemia, what is pernicious anemia, what is normal anemia, what is the difference. So these are type of questions are asked from the blood and circulation part. Now heading towards the cardiovascular system, some of the important topics are the myogenic control of the heart, the external control of the heart, the normal control of the heart, the cardiac cycle, the cardiac cycle, the whole cardiac cycle, questions related to the uh, like the uh, like the total output, total output of the volume, total number of the like the heartbeat, the questions related to the uh, question like such as the <coughs> conduction of heart, like the pacemaker, what is natural pacemaker, uh, like SA node, how it conducts, what is bundle of his, what is bundle, like the, what the questions of the fibers, like the like how there is a like AV node, uh, like SA node, AV node, this question, question related to valve, what are the valve present, what is like the tri cuspid or bicuspid valve what are the like uh, semilunar valves question related to a like ecg the questions is like the graph of the ecg and ecg graphs and questions related to the abnormal ecg condition and the like the disease associated so these are the questions that are like usually asked from the cardiovascular system and then the question asked from the respiratory system the respiratory system is very important topic uh, like they have a lot of questions that are asked from the respiratory system especially the application based question question will be mostly from uh, oxygen dissociation curve where when the oxygen will dissociate when there would be right shift and left shift what are the conditions what is the respiration controlling center in our body, what are the alveoli questions related to the basics of alveoli, the mechanism, the path like the alveoli, alveolar mechanism, how there is an expansion, gaseous exchange, the question related to Bose effect, hypoxia and high altitude, where there would be an hypoxic condition, high where there will be like people going to the high altitude, what will be the conditions of their hemoglobin, like what will be the RBC change, what is the like the oxygen uptake, how the body will manage, what will be the uh, nature of the oxygen dissociation curve, hemoglobin, how like when it will be O2 transport, when there will be a condition of CO2 transport, and the question related to tide, uh, tidal volume, reserve volume, and the like the expiratory reserve volume, and like, and these questions are important. And then coming to the nervous system, some of the important topics are nerve fiber and their types. They are very important. Nerve excitation that is mostly related to the factors that affect the nerve excitations, conditions of um, so questions from neurotransmitters what are the different type of neurotransmitters what are the excited neurotransmitter inhibiting neurotransmitters like GABA questions from the anatomy of the brain which brain is uh, like uh, regulating what functions what is the role of cerebrum what is the role of cerebrum what is a what are the uh, like part of the brain is uh, involved in the intelligence involved in the emotions these questions like indirectly these questions comes Action, action potential is very much important in the nervous system category. Questions will be from depolarization, repolarization, especially axon hillock and and in K K uh, pump. That is the when there will be condition of the like uh, sodium exchange, like when the so like potassium will enter the cell, when potassium will exit the cells. Questions of uh, like uh, voltage gated channels. These questions are very important in the nervous system. Now we are coming up to the sense organs. Sense organs is not that important. Uh, questions won't come. A lot of questions 
questions won't come sometimes some year they will give questions from the sense organ and most of the question have been seen from the anatomy of ear and the conduction of sound these are the most like uh, frequent question that has been asked from the sense organ except that there are very less of questions asked from the sense organ so this is not very much important topic for you to cover important topic from here like this part is cardiovascular respiratory and nervous system three topics from where the questions are majorly asked from the system physiology animal excretory system is also really important so excretory system structure of nephron constituent function hormone that are regulating the regulating the excretory system adrenal gland erythropoietin hormone how it regulates glomerulus like the bowman's capsule questions related to the pct dct maximum absorption the channels that are present so like proximal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule when there would be absorption or what of what kind of absorption will be in pct what kind of absorption will be in dct what is the mechanism what is the counter correct mechanism and also about questions related to urea cycle these are the important topics from this creature system and you should refer to these topics specially in this if you are studying for the unit 7 of cs and its syllabus coming to the thermoregulation stress and uh, stress and adaptation questions are not mostly asked the questions will be such that some of the questions will be covering uh, another section only so you don't need to have a prior preparation for this special topic this topic is not that much important from the unit 7 point of view now coming to the digestive system some of the important topics are enzymes related to digestive system what all the enzymes are related to the digestive system the questions related to the transporters very much important what are the transporters that are carrying the nutrition the carrying the glucose fructose sucrose that are the like end product of the digestion what are what is the channels that are involved especially in the case of absorption mechanism in the intestine questions related to the carbohydrate absorption protein absorption lipid absorption vitamin absorption mineral absorption these topics are important from the digestive system now coming to the endocrinology and reproduction questions in the endocrinology and reproductions are endocrinology is the most important part from the unit 7 of cs and its syllabus the most of the questions are asked from the endocrinology as well as reproductive system so the questions will be mostly from the hormones hormone their factors their regulation sabse pehle is it's like that the questions will be from hormone action sabse pehle aapka question hormone action se rehta hai hormone action se question in the sense ki the question aise puche jayenge ki hormone ka action kaisa hai suppose that agar aapka pituitary hormone hum baat kar rahe hain anterior pituitary hormone posterior pituitary hormone kaise action kar raha hai kahan se unka hypothalamus regulation ho raha hai unke sath these topics are really important and then you are coming about the next topic that is the um pituitary टी एंड हाइपोथेलमस सो दे हैव इंटर कनेक्शन एंड स्पेशली क्वेश्चन इस तरीके से भी आते हैं कि थायरॉयड स्टूमुलेटिंग हार्मोन एंड थायरॉयड रिलीजिंग हार्मोन तो रिलीजिंग हार्मोन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हाइपोथेलमस दैन इट इज लाइक एक्टिवेटिंग दी लाइक एंटीडी पिटी रिलीज थायरॉयड स्टूमुलेटिंग हार्मोन दैट इज गेटिंग टारगेटेड टू द थायरॉयड प्लान सो दिस आर द क्वेश्चन दिस आर द मेकानिज्म यू शुड नो दिस आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो ये चीज़ें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है स्पेशली द बेंच मार्क ऑफ एंडोक्रोनोलॉजी इज टू पार्ट पहला है हाइपोथेलमस दूसरा पिटी ग्लैंड पिटी में भी दो है एंटीडी पिटी पॉस्टिव वो कैसे हाइपोथेलमस से रिलेटेड है कैसे एंटीरियर पेटोटी सिक्रेशन कर रही है पिट्यू पॉस्टिव पेटोटी सिक्रेशन कैसे कर रही है जबकि पॉस्टिव पेटोटी की खुद की सिक्रेशन नहीं होती वो हाइपोथेलमस ही सिक्रेशन देते हैं सो दिस आर द क्वेश्चन आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन लाइक थायरॉइड लैंड का पार्ट पैराथोरॉइड लैंड का पार्ट इन द क्वेश्चन आई विल भी कमिंग फ्रॉम गनेट्स एंड हॉमोन्स गनेट्स एंड हॉमोन्स लाइक क्वेश्चन विल भी लाइक वॉट इज एफ एस एच एल एच देर रोल देर रोल इन प्रेगनेंसी लाइक देर देर रोल इन लाइक इन द केस ऑफ लाइक मेन्स्ट्रल साइक सेकेंडरी डेवलपमेंट इन द केस ऑफ लाइक दिस आर द क्वेश्चन that comes and then gonads and hormones the question will be also from the uh, like the hormones like the normal hormones estrogen level progesterone le level feedback control negative mechanism negative mechanism is very much important because when there is excess release of hormone the end product uh, like starts uh, giving signaling to the pituitary gland as well as hypothalamus to stop this for the secretion so this negative feedback when there is an excess of end product and that is asking the hypothalamus as well as pituitary to stop the secretion is very much important so when there will be a condition of negative control negative uh, feedback mechanism in the case of the hormones released on the type of hormone release is very important then the nature of hormone in action ye question bahut important aata hai jaise ki kis kitne hormone peptide hormone hai kitne steroid hormone hai kaise wo act karte hai kaise wo cell ke andar jaate hai जीन रेगुलेशन कैसे करते हैं वो जीन कौन सा सेल के रिसेप्टर्स के थ्रू जाता है कौन सा वो डायरेक्टली चला जाता है और जीन जेनेटिक चेंजेस करता है ये सारी चीज़ें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है 
then we are the next point is reproductive system the, so the question from the reproductive system will be mostly from menstrual cycle especially when there would be an estrogen level surge when there would be progesterone level surge sperm formation the condition of the formation of spermatogenia the, the conditions where there will be division there is a haploid content how ultimately there is a formation of the spermatozoal a formation of the haploid content of the sperm so these are the questions important so you should know about the like these basics only you should know so it is very important now coming up to the Book. So we have discussed about the basics like the, uh, the important topics related to the blood circulation, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, nervous system, sense organs, not that important, excretory system, digestive system, endocrinology and reproduction. Now at the end we shall be discussing about some reference book that you can study. Better you go for any instant notes if you have studied these books or like these are topics from the reference books. But if you haven't studied it from the reference book, I will be suggesting two reference book um, that is the first one is textbook of medical physiology written i put it in the second but this is the most important book you can refer to this book then for the essentials animal physiology rastogi you can refer to an indian author also and for the instant notes you can refer to bios instant notes human physiology for quick revision guys this is the best one bios instant ones notes human physiology and this book you can also like uh, refer the review medical physiology but these three books are very much important for you so for a one standard book you can uh, refer to textbook medical physiology title then for an indian author you can refer to essential animal physiology rastogi and then for an instant notes you can refer to bios instant notes human physiology so these were about the reference book that are uh, very much important now we have discussed about the important topics so you uh, make sure that if you are preparing for the csi net syllabus you do study these important topics from the unit 7 system physiology animal because these topics are important for you to prepare in a good way because these are the uh, topics which are having a most important emphasis and these topics since you are learning it from the class 12th itself because in the class 12th also like class 11th also we studied about the human physiology we studied about physiological mechanism anatomy so it wouldn't be a difficult and even if you are a biotech graduate or if you are a zoology graduate if you are a lime science graduate then it won't be difficult for you to cover this uh, like uh, portion because it's merely easy it's very easy and it just requires a basic revision so it's very easy it's a very basic revision it's very easy you don't need to learn a lot of things because these are such things that we are learning from 12 in graduation and masters so continuously we are having a revision strategy for it so this is a topic which you can easily prepare so you always have to do a smart work while preparing for the CSI net examination so this topic you can easily prepare very easily make sure you revise this topic so that at least the question if comes from these topics you are making sure that you are answering those questions so it's very important for you so i will always recommend it like i'm recommending you guys if you are having a zoology biotech life science background if you are like if you are preparing for neat then you make sure that you and if you are sir, like giving csi net examination you make sure that you uh, like uh, cover these portions these portions are very very much important for the csi net point of view and easy also which you can easily cover so guys here it was about the important topics and books related to the csi net unit 7 system physiology animal you have anything to ask please mention in the comment box below we are there to help you thank you so much